Hi everyone, me again. Um, I can't get down to Wales at the moment, so I'm just working on some other little projects. Um, here's a water wheel I made a little while ago. I made it out of some sheet metal um, from the scrapyard. It's just two pieces, two circles cut out, just with a grinder, with a hoop welded in the middle, and then these little um, these little fins that I made, uh, just by bending. I just did a cut along there, bend, and then welded them in um, and I've got a pulley on the side here which I'm going to attach to uh, an alternator that I've ordered and there's just a rod going along the middle and there's an axle with two um, bearings, house bearings. So when I first made it to test it and get it balanced I made this temporary wooden stand so today I'm going to be making a proper metal stand out of some of this, um, this steel box section that I've got left over from the uh, coffee table project. As you can see this spins pretty well. Works quite well. I'm hoping to use this to generate power for the little roundhouse. So we're going to make a nice um, nice frame for it with um, with an outrigger for um, the generator to sit on so it's an enclosed unit. So I'm going to get to that and I'll show you the progress. Right, that's the main stand done. I've just got to figure out how to mount the alternator. I'll probably make something to come out of here and then hold it sort of here in line with that belt. And then there it is, it's spinning. Works pretty well. So it's good, I'm happy with it. Right, so here's the setup, a little bit of a bodge, well not bodge, but you know, it's strong, but it's not great, but it's just quick. So it's just an arm coming off the frame up to here, where I've screwed this bit of plate to the motor, to the alternator, sorry, and then welded this bit of box to that bit of plate, and then just welded some bolts through that, through that, and then underneath is just a slot that's just reamed out of the drill bit, so it's going to slide back and forwards. Yeah, it's working just fine. 
Right, there it is. Uh, probably add a few more supports here and there just to stiffen things up, but working really good, as you can see. So I haven't got any water to power it, so I'm going to have to figure out a way of spinning it with something to do a little test. There. That's what I'm going to try and set up now. What I've got is bridge rectifier. It hooked up to the three phase because this is three phase AC. So that goes through the bridge rectifier three phase, rectifies it to DC, which comes down that lead to my two meter leads there. There's my meter set on DC voltage. This is in amps, this is volts. Let's see if we can get some voltage. There we go. Just with a little hand spin, we're getting 16 volts there. I'm sure I can get it much higher than that. There we go, 23 volts there. Little hand spin 20 volts okay so we've got voltage that's good so we'll see if we can actually power some stuff off it now right so i've got here wired in i've got a 60 uh, watt little pump um just something i've got lying around 60 watts so you can see that there 60 watts and there that's a 50 watt led i believe it could be more it's definitely 50 or or more to the wired in so we've got at least 100 watts there um so i'll just give it a little spin Right. Right so it's working all good. I mean, it's pretty hard to spin it by hand. So. At some point, I'll do a proper test of how many um, watts it's actually capable of. I think it's probably capable of 400 watts, the actual setup, if I had enough water to drive it. So that's pretty good power. 10.43 amps um, from a hand spin at about 12-13 volts but this um, if you spin it fast enough it'll go to about 50 volts so it's capable of some serious power there it is finished up looking cool uh, added some additional support here just to stiffen it up a bit um, yeah that's the finished product